Hey everybody, it's Pogbomb. Welcome back to This Sucks. Hey guys, I am back with an update. Um, for those of you who saw my uh, breakdown on Friday, a uh, part of that a little part had to do with conversations that I had finally with my doctor on Thursday. And that was mostly because we still don't have any concrete answers, that there's still so many unknowns. Essentially what he shared um, was what we had kind of already assumed uh, was that after reviewing the scans with all those other really smart people, that the scans are showing the likelihood that the cancer is back and that it has spread. Um, that's what the multiple scans have shown so far, but they can't say that for sure until uh, they have proof. So what that means is that I'm going to have to go in for a biopsy. Uh, and I talked about that in previous videos. It's where they, you know, put a nice big needle into the spot. Then they pull out tissue samples of the tumor in order to test it in the lab and determine one way or another what it is. Um, in order to do that, one great thing was that my doctor on the same day was able to push through an, uh, an urgent CAT scan that um, also, again, scan, I go through a tube, they inject, uh, you know, this serum in and that helps light the scan up to show where the potential cancer cells are. And this scan is to be used as a map of sorts for the doctor who would do the biopsy procedure. Once those results come in, then we can continue to move forward with other options. Um, I did speak to him about another, you know, other types of things. You know, I asked him like, well, you know, when did the uh, results for the scan that I had on my neck come back? And he said, yes. And, um, and there is concern there, but they don't, he doesn't want to do a lot with this right now um, because of one of the potential treatment options that he sees as a viable option. Um, I asked about surgery. Uh, my two previous cases where uh, the cancer had gone into my lymph nodes, they were able to go in, they were able to remove those. Um, and, um, you know, mostly like with the, with the hope of we're gonna get rid of them, stop the potential, or, you know, the potential for spread, and then move on to treatment at that point. Unfortunately, uh, based on what the scans are showing, there is no point to surgery. Um, there's too much for them to do surgery. There's too many spots. It's not an option. So, like that. Uh, some treatment options can also include radiation. And I asked about radiation. Essentially, it's a like a concentrated beam of radiation that uh, goes to the spot where you have the tumor or uh, whatever it is, and it helps kill those cancer cells that's not an option. Again, because I don't just have one spot where it's showing up. I have numerous spots and it's too widespread for radiation to be an option. Either. So the only option for treatment for this is um, an IV treatment, which is, I mean, that's like the normal things for the immunotherapy. That's what I've gotten in the past. The fact that they can't do surgery or they can't do radiation is scary. Um, you hear like terms like inoperable in movies, um, and that's usually not a good thing. Um, so that's, again, that's where we're at, uh, with some of these options. Now I did also ask some other questions like, okay, well, what if, uh, what if it's not melanoma? What if we go in, we do the biopsy and it comes back and it's not. And his first response was, well, then I would be the happiest doctor on the planet. Um, doesn't sound likely. Uh, potential that it maybe it's not melanoma and it's a different type of cancer, which I guess would maybe be better because that means it didn't spread through my blood, but I, I'm not entirely sure. Um, but what I can say is that I have had the same oncologist since I started this journey in 2017. And I have never heard him as subdued as he was in that moment. And I can't even imagine 
being him and having his line of work where he's gone to school and he's studied for years to try and help people. And then on almost probably a daily basis, I hope not that, that frequent, he's having to relay news like this to people. So thank you for being here and helping me as best as you can. Um, so treatment options um, are definitely going to be an, um, an IV type treatment where uh, you know, I get an IV and then the medicine is injected in and, and all of that. And it will be immunotherapy, which I've had in the past. Uh, they are going to kind of up the ante. And um, one of those main options is to do a dual therapy, which would include two different immunotherapy drugs uh, to kind of boost things and get things going uh, at the start. And then after a certain period of time, depending on what new scans show, then that could be lessened and it would just go down to one drug. There's another option as well. Don't have a lot of information about it, but my oncologist did seem um, pretty, op I, I don't want to say optimistic, but when asked what the, um, you know, if it was something he was leaning toward, he said yes. And that is a clinical trial um, where they are doing a study on a newer tre uh, cancer treatment that has already gotten approval to treat numerous other forms of cancer and this clinical trial is specifically to see if it will be just as uh, beneficial to those people suffering from melanoma. Now this treatment is specifically for treatment resistant cancers which I mean I'm assuming that's what mine would be classified as being that I ended treatment last June and did, you know we're already back here. Um, so that's an option. It's called CAR T cell therapy. And um, the sound, it does. I mean, it sounds really cool. Um, I'll try and do a video about it and share a little bit about that as I get more information, especially if that's the route we end up taking. Um, but one thing that I do know is if we go down that road, um, I will have to leave home and go to California. And I don't know for how long. I don't know how long the treatment is, uh, potentially a couple weeks, but. My, my doctor didn't have that information either. Um, that wouldn't come until we officially have a diagnosis and he can, you know, contact the, uh, the doctors who are doing the research. So that's kind of where we're at. Still scary. And it's going to continue to be scary. And I don't want to say that's okay, but uh, expected, I guess. I, I cannot thank all of you enough uh, because even when I start to feel down and, you know, every video that I've posted about this, you guys have commented like crazy and provided, you know, so much love and that's definitely helped bolster my spirits and I very much appreciate it. Um, but one of the things that I did want to mention is that um, some of the comments that I have been getting are, oh, I hope you feel better. Uh, I hope you get better. Um, how are you feeling? And I feel fine. I feel absolutely fine. I don't feel sick. And to be told you're sick, but then you don't feel sick, it's a little weird. Um, so, like the, really the only thing that I have going on is like some lower back pain, some hip pain, you know, stuff like that, which I've had before and it didn't have anything to do with cancer. Um, so now there's just the added benefit of every time I get a little twinge, I go, <laughs> cancer. <laughs> um, but I can, you know, take some over the counter pain medicine like Tylenol and for the most part it helps. So right now I feel fine. Once treatment starts, that'll change. Uh, you know, treatment is kind of designed uh, in a way, in, in some treatments to kind of break your system down to fight better, um, or because the treatment can't pinpoint the cancer cells specifically, um, it kind of ends up targeting the other parts of your body, which is what makes, you know, cancer treatment not so much fun. Um, so there's going to be times when I'm not gonna be feeling good, and I know it's coming not looking forward to it um as no one does but right now i'm good i just want you guys to know that and be aware of that 
so yeah again thank you guys um i'll be uh, you know continuing with the videos i have a couple other ideas um, as i get updates from my doctor as we move forward uh, with treatment plans or you know moving forward with who knows what um, i'll make sure you guys are kept in the loop and then i'll have some other videos as well just some other things i've been thinking about a lot and um want to just get out there get it off my chest remember i said this is kind of my therapy so um you know some of these things there's um just gonna kind of be me rambling a little bit more and i appreciate that you guys are willing to <laughs> sit through it and listen um so again thank you guys very much only other one one other thing that i i needed to say is that if you guys have watched pog dog's video i had no idea he was doing None at all. And I love you, Paga. I love you very much. Thank you. And for anyone else who was involved, I know he mentioned our mods, so guys, thank you. I will see you guys later. Have a good day, night, evening, whatever it is. Be nice, be kind, spread some joy. See you later.